So, welcome uh, to this tutorial. <coughs> Today we will make, will we will be making uh, this. Or let me pull the image up. So, as you can see, it's a simple knife that uh, actually looks really good and is really simple to do. So, I chose a iron uh, iron produced uh, metal as you can see here, so it has these dents, like it looks like it has been forged. Then it continues into the bevel at the point, and first here a smaller bevel to the edge, which gives it a nice effect of really being a knife. So uh, let's uh, get started. This is how I uh, set up my scene. I just used a few assets from the GSG Texture Kit and Light Kit Pro. If you don't own those, um, I can't upload the material sadly. I, uh, that would be illegal, that would be sharing something I bought where, well, I would be giving, or rather, I would be stealing something and giving it away, like saying it was my own. But, anyways. Let's get started. So I started off really simple with a cube. Uh, for the height I chose 50, I believe. Yes. Uh, as for the X width, 20. And size 250. And of course you can uh, pick any size you want, to be honest. So to make uh, things a bit easier, go to display and select grass shading lines so we can actually see, see the lines we are putting on here. So first of all start by adding a one on the Y axis and one on the X axis. And the X one is really important, that one will be used to create the edge itself. So there's that. Now you want to make it edit editable by clicking on this icon or hitting shortcut C. I always use C, it's become automatic. So if you go to the uh, sorry edge tool or edge selection, then go to select the loop and select this. Then go back to the move tool and move this up a bit. Oh, 20 is a bit too. Let's just say 15. Yeah. And like I said before, there is no exact measurements on how to do this, so you can use every size you want, really. Now you want to move to the. No, still stay on the edge. Select the knife tool. Deselect restrict to selection and visible only. Then go anywhere you want really. I like it uh, to have it here so it's uh, on the line. And uh, if you did it right, a quick inspection will tell you. You will now have this part, which is important later on. Actually, we are going to go to the live selection tool. Select uh, points, deselect only visible, select these, move them up and back. Same for here, move them back a few and up. Actually I'm gonna leave this one as is like now. I didn't do that with the other one, I made it horizontal with these points. I think I'm gonna try a more machete look. So now we have the bisque uh, shape already set up. Now the next po thing you want to do is select the following points I'm selecting and hold on shit to add to the points. And that should be it. Then go to the size and I've already got these. Go to resizing tool, hold it down and just thin it out a bit so you get that uh, nice bevel 
to a point. Now that we have done that, we can move on to the line selection tool. First of all, you want to select these two uh, lines, then go to the move, and just move them out 10. And same for the other one, only you move them down, and here is your basic knife uh, already. Uh, it comes out to a nice line. I uh, actually experimented with a plugin called Solid Chamfer, which allows you to, well, basically use the bevel only on a selection or if you want the whole thing. So let's get one in here just for demonstration purposes. All edges, and as you can see, it completely changes the objects. Now we can add subdivision, like you can with the hypernerves, and the radius. So, and on the other one, I have a one radius, which gives these nice smooth edges. But we don't want them here. But that sort of ruins the whole knife ID. We can look from here a bit. You can, well, you could see it, but it would have a rounded edge. That would mean the blade isn't uh, all that sharp. So select the cube again. So now you want to do a simple control A and so deselect. Uh, the points I'm deselecting. Of course, if you want to keep them, you can keep them, but I don't think it really fits. So now you want to go to Select, Set Selection, go to the Solid Chamber object, and select Edges from la from Selection tag. Drag that in the Selection tag box. It render again. Now you can see we have the smooth edges, but also the sharp edges. And this is more realistic than... Well, I lost my frame of thoughts there. Um, this is more realistic in a way that it resembles a real knife. Of course you could select these, but I... I'm just gonna see how it looks with the selected because in a knife you most of the times do have that smooth uh, transition uh, go to select, set selection and it should update itself hit render and that actually works pretty well although this edge still this guy is uh, stubborn Set. Yeah, that sort of looks good too. And we maintain the sharp edge. As you can see. So that's how you basically can make a knife. Now if you want to texture it, you can just easily go to the polygon tool. Uh, get the life selection uh, tag. And just select them. But then the problem is, uh, you might have noticed, these polygons don't get selected. You have to make the solid chamber uh, edit editable. And now you can select them. And this will increase your polygon count by quite a bit. So keep that in mind. So, no, so you, with this you can create your uh, selections and create another selection tag uh, I'm going to write set selection and if we had for example material we can add it on there um, if you render now you can see that selection is only being selected so this is uh, my basic tutorial on how to make a knife this works in most cases, but we have more rounded edges, I advise you use a different way. I'm still trying to figure out a way for that, so 
watch out for that tutorial th because that one is coming soon too. I uh, wish you all a very good day and until next time.